Hi guys, it's Annie from Eclipse All Sports. I just wanted to bring you a bass gloves that we've got available. So it's just a quick overview, give you a close look at the gloves. And these will all be listed up on the website. Um, so this is the newest glove that we've got in stock. Uh, so this is the Bass uh, Pro Edition glove, but it's in a limited edition white um, color scheme. So you've got the white, the black, and the silver. And then you've got the black strap there as well. Um, this thumb, you can see there, it's got a hard plastic insert. And you've got hard plastic inserts and perforated plastic inserts on all of these fingers. Um, so really good protection. So if you're looking for the best possible protection in a glove, then I would recommend these bass gloves. These are the gloves that I wear personally, but just in a different color scheme. Um, so these are the gloves that I've been using um, for the last few years now, and you won't find better protection. Um, so you don't always have to be facing the quickest of bowlers to get hit on the fingers, guys. Uh, if you're playing on uh, pitches that are not always covered, or sometimes a little bit wet, the ball can pop up off the length and you can get wrapped on the fingers and the ball don't need to be travelling that fast to cause some damage as well because if you get your fingers trapped against the bat uh, then you're going to do some damage quite easily guys with a hard cricket ball um, so yeah I always use these never had any issues been hit a few times on the hands uh, but never really felt anything bass gloves I don't think there's anything better on the market in terms of protection guys uh, comfort wise they're not the most flexible glove um, but they do help you hold the bat and not fidget around too much with the bat, which is good for me. Um, and I do prefer the feel of these rather than a split finger glove. Calfskin palm. It's quite a thick palm. It's a little bit thicker than the pitard palm. So if you're used to a really thin pitard palm, then these might feel a little bit weird for you. Um, but for me personally, um, I prefer the thicker palm. When I wear a pitard glove, I feel that it's too thin. It feels like I'm not wearing any gloves. And it's quite a weird feeling um, when batting with the pitard palms. Sweat absorption wise in the UK, no issues really. And they may occasionally get a little bit sweaty, but you just open up the strap, uh, lift this nice padded cuff, and then it just lets a little bit of air in, and then you've got no real issues. Um, but yeah, the pit hard palms do offer better um, ventilation and maybe better sweat absorption. But these ones for me, best protection, really comfortable, and I probably wouldn't use anything else. So for the 2018 season, I'll probably be picking up a pair of these uh, beautiful gloves because I prefer the colour scheme. Uh, the blue and the red, they're nice gloves, but the colour scheme's uh, not always uh, the best. It doesn't always go with other kit. So I think these go really well, uh, especially with the Players Edition and the Exploder Cricket Bats, which I'll show you now. Or the Players Edition Cricket Bats, I should say. Uh, the colour scheme just goes brilliantly. Looks really nice, goes really well with the bat. Um, so you're getting the top level protection. These are limited edition gloves. Uh, you probably struggle to find these anywhere else in the UK. And we'll have those listed on the website for $54.99. If you just want the Bass Pro gloves, these are on the website for $44.99. Excellent uh, protection. Only difference is, is the colour scheme. Uh, and then next up, if you're wanting a, a lower quality glove and you don't want to spend too much money, um, then we have these lovely Bass gloves. Looks wise, absolutely stunning. Some of the nicest looking gloves, especially if you prefer a split thumb, then these are a really good option for you. Um, really nice embossing and texturing on the strap. Um, I think these gloves maybe have looked a little bit better if they had a white and silver strap maybe, but to be honest, I like the black as well. Um, so either way, they look good for me. Um, but yeah, if you prefer a slightly more minimalist look, then these are really good. All white with a little bit of silver. They look really classy really nice uh, quality glove. As for protection, um, these offer the least amount of protection um, from what I can see. There's no extra inserts, all you've got is the foam padding in the fingers. Um, so if you are facing good quality bowlers, then these may not offer the... Um, so if you are facing uh, good quality quick bowlers, then these might not be offering the best levels of protection and they may not be the most suitable gloves for you. Um, but if you're playing maybe a lower level of cricket and you don't really have any issues with getting hit on the gloves and you just want something that looks good and that are really comfortable and good value for money then I would probably go for these. Um, these are $34.99. Uh, they're probably some of the nicest looking gloves that I've come across. They still offer decent levels of protection, don't get me wrong. If you get a hit uh, facing medium to slow bowlers it's not going to cause you any issues but if you're facing quick bowlers uh, then if you get hit on the fingers with these then you might be in a little bit of trouble 
so you're probably better off going for something a little bit more robust like these gloves here. So yeah, $34.99, these are $54.99, and then the standard Pro Edition gloves, they're $44.99, so considering how much you pay for a UK manufacturer's gloves which are made in India, um, if not all the softs that are made in India from every manufacturer that you see available, um, so you're just paying. So yeah, um, the best quality softs. So $44.99 for probably the best gloves on the market, I would say, in terms of protection. If you watch a lot of the Indian international players, they all tend to use these kind of gloves. Um, they will have either the Bass, the MRF, or some other branding on, but they're all predominantly the same design, the same levels of protection that you'll find. Um, so for $44.99, you're getting a pro-level glove. It's excellent value for money. Uh, just bear in mind that all the softs are made in India by all the different manufacturers that are out there. Um, so really, you're just paying uh, all that extra money for a name. Uh, the quality is probably no better, and um, you're just paying all that extra for, say, those sponsored players uh, that these companies shell out lots of money for. So say you're grey nickels, you're probably looking at £80-£90 pounds for a glove that's probably no better than this. Um, and this you're getting for 44 99 so they're offering excellent value for money and a really good quality glove and for me this is the new glove for 2018 and this is going to be a popular glove uh, we do have these available in left and right hand um, what I will say about this glove is I've got not the biggest of hands I would say it's probably a standard probably standard men's um, I've got a tiny little bit of room in um, to give you an idea of how big my hands are. Um, these for me are probably verging on just about fitting. Um, if you have a look there, my fingers are right on the end of the tips. Um, so these will probably stretch a little bit and I'll probably be able to stretch these and wear these in a little bit so they'll be probably be a perfect fit for me. But I would say I'm verging on a small men's hands. Um, I wouldn't say my hands are that big. Um, so if you're someone with big hands, then I would say you probably won't fit into the standard men's on these particular gloves. These pro gloves, um, there's a little bit more room in these. Um, I do have a little bit of extra room. I'll just try and show you that now. So these aren't as tight as the other ones. So if you have a look there, there is a little bit of give. I've got a little bit of extra room there. So if you're a standard men's, then these will probably fit you just fine. The Indian gloves tend to come up a little bit smaller than some of the UK brands. Um, so that is worth bearing in mind. They may be a slightly tighter fit. Um, so like I say, if you've got fairly small hands, then the bass gloves will be a perfect fit for you. But if you've got slightly bigger than normal hands, then they're probably going to be too tight. So you probably want to ask us to order you in a large size or maybe an extra large size if your hands are a little bit bigger than that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching guys. I hope that gives you a little look at the Bass Gloves. And like I say, they'll be all listed on the website. So you can jump over to the website and take a closer look. There'll be pictures of the gloves on there as well. So yeah guys, so thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.